North Korea conducted a missile test with its longest ever flight time on Wednesday. The missile flew for 74 minutes and just over 600 miles before falling into the sea, around 150 miles west of Japan's Hokkaido. That's according to Japan's chief cabinet secretary Hirokazu Matsuno, who strongly condemned the launch. North Korea's series of actions, including its repeated ballistic missile launches, threaten the peace and security of Japan's region and the international community and are absolutely unacceptable. Moreover, such ballistic missile launches violate relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions and are a serious security issue for our citizens. We've lodged a strong protest against North Korea through our embassy in Beijing. Hirokazu said Japan believes the rocket was an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM. The North test-fired its first-ever solid-fuel ICBM in April. Analysts believe they can fly far enough to strike targets anywhere in the United States, and that the country has likely developed nuclear warheads that can fit on rockets. The launch follows heated complaints by the North in recent days, including accusing American spy planes of violating its airspace and comes ahead of an expected Wednesday meeting between leaders of South Korea and Japan at a NATO summit to discuss threats, including the nuclear-armed North.